In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the checkout flow. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to redirect to the cart page after a customer's add a product to cart. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we'll dive straight into it. So we'll just navigate over to our WordPress dashboard and then we'll navigate to WooCommerce settings. Okay, then we'll click on this product tab here. Okay, so we'll scroll down and where it says shop pages under add to cart behavior, we'll tick this option here where it says redirect to the cart page after successful addition. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and save changes. So now when we view our website, let's actually navigate to this product page. Okay, and we'll add this product to cart and it should redirect us directly to the cart page. Okay, so that's working fine. So this, this is the first option we've got to actually improve in our cart page. So a few more things we can do. We can navigate back to this settings page. We can deactivate this setting here. We'll go ahead and save changes. And for this method, we'll be using the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. Okay, so just head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. There's a free and a pro version. For this tutorial, we'll be using a free version. Okay, so we'll head back over to our dashboard. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and install the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. So we just go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Navigate to all-in-one checkout. Okay, and then we're going to click on this mini cart option. And then we're just going to make sure we enable the mini cart. Okay, and then we can choose the display position. And then finally, if we scroll past everything, so we can enable stuff like free shipping bar, um, the coupon section and so on. But what we're interested in here is here where it says automatically open a mini cart after um, adding a new item to cart. Okay. So we just want to make sure this option is enabled so we can save changes. Okay. And now when we head back over to this product page, now when a customer adds an item to basket, it'll automatically open this mini cart here, okay? And this makes sense because from here, they'll be able to manage everything. So if they wanted to um, increase the quantity on this particular item, they can do. If they wanted to reduce it, they can do. Remove it, they can do. Um, here as well, we actually get to offer um, customers an upsell directly within this site cart area. Okay, so if everything looks good, they can just click checkout, okay? So it's just one less page for them to visit. So usually they'd have to visit the cart page and then the checkout page, okay? Okay, and then finally, the last tip is we can just skip the cart page all together okay so using the same um, we suite all-in-one checkout plugin we'll just click on direct checkout here and then we'll just go ahead and enable this option okay and now we've got two options so we can replace the add to cart button with a buy button or we can display the add to cart button and the buy button okay so i'm going to just replace the add to cart button with a buy button okay so we'll save changes and we can rename the text. So instead of saying buy now, we can we can change it to whatever we want. Okay. So I'm just going to hit save changes here. Okay. And now when I refresh this page, okay. So instead of saying add to cart, now it says buy now. Okay. And when we click buy now, it will take us directly to the checkout page, bypassing um, the add to cart page. So it's just a much more streamlined user experience. And depending on your use case, you might want to just um, redirect customers to the cart page. You might want to open a site cart um, after they've added an item to their basket, or you might just want to take them directly to the checkout, like how we've done it here. So whichever method you want to use, um, the options there, okay? And that's just a quick and easy way to redirect to the cart page after a customer's add an item to their basket. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.